Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 No Boundaries 16.6 .6 travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this little bunkhouse RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 No Boundaries 16.6 .6 travel trailer here. And as you've seen on the floor plan, this is a small bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to actually start back here in the back and then we'll kind of work our way forward. So back here on the left side, we have our bathroom area. So right here, we're going to have a little corner shower. You can see here the little pull across curtain. And this just comes on back out of the way. And you have your little step in shower. Little sink area. The 30 amp charge controller for the 200 watt solar panel that's on this one. Over here we have some shelf space. There is your controls for your uh, 12 volt heated holding tanks right here. You also have your water pump switch and your water heater on gas button, the electric buttons outside. And you have your battery, fresh black and gray meters. There's also a vent fan up there. And a foot flush toilet. The bunk area right here, you have a window in each bunk. They have little pull across curtains there. There's a USB charger port back there as well. You have a little built-in ladder to get you up onto that top bunk. Down here you have what they refer to as a storage door, bike door. And basically that right there will swing open. This bottom bunk will actually flip up a little bit allowing you to put maybe a couple small kids' bikes or something back there. Digital thermostat there for your furnace and your air conditioner system. Over here, you're going to have your little booth dinette. That will go down and make into a bed, so you could sleep an extra person there. You have the furnace down here, and you also have your electric box with the breakers and fuses on the other side. And then they have this little... Uh, pizza paddle here uh, with the little Nobo logo on there as well. You can see here you have storage and the doors are on the little shock assist features. Big window here overlooking the awning side or campsite area of the RV as well. Nightshade just slides up out of your way. And we have a small slide out right here, which basically is your kitchen slide. So the sink, the stove, the microwave, that refrigerator, everything all kind of slides out. Not real deep, but it is a decent sized little slide out there to give you, I think it's about an extra 18 inches of room roughly. So down below you have your convection microwave so you can cook or microwave with electric. You have a two burner gas stove top and you also have your high rise spring sprayer faucet right there. Some overhead storage space. The unit has a tire pressure monitoring system that comes with it. Really nice feature here. Uh, I'll pop up a video of kind of goes over a little bit of this for you at the end comes with the JBL Flip 5 Bluetooth speaker as well. And then over here we're going to have our gas and electric refrigerator. So you can use it either way. Especially if you're an off-the-grid person, you might like that propane feature. Down below you have the central vac, which has the dustpan vac part. And then you also have your propane leak detector down there. Over there we have an inverter button and electric outlet down there. 
Just kind of looking up at our ceiling area here, you can see your Coleman AC system. You have a 12 volt TV over here on a swing arm. It's nice being 12 volt, so you can kind of do your whole off the grid battery camping kind of thing. There is an open hole area here that kind of goes out into uh, the storage area as well. So you could, you know, kind of extend something into that section um, if you wanted to. You can obviously get to it from outside. You'll see that when we get out there. And basically a 60 by 80 queen bed. Uh, obviously it's sideways here, kind of an east to west bed setup. The window on each side of the bed do open, but the windshield does not. And then right up here, we're going to have some little holders here, bottle opener. And then you have your interior light switch, porch light switch, awning light switch, slide out switch, and your awning in and out button. But overall, a really nice family coach here. Not a huge amount of changes for 2024 compared to 2023, uh, but a couple really nice ones. We'll put that info down in the description for you as well. Now we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. Then we're going to come back in and close it up for you. Show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 No Boundaries 16.6 .6 model here. We're going to start here on the door side. We'll kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior, which is attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material. It's a really nice improvement over the standard wood Luon board that some RVs are made out of. You do have uh, kind of a lower gray base and some vinyl graphics. You have deep tent safety glass windows. You also have the deep tent safety glass entry door and screen door. You have the large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. Power awning with an LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. Adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. And you also have a manual override in the front arm head. You have a traditional porch light up there that will also turn amber if you flip the switch the opposite direction. So it's kind of nice. They have two different lighting systems for out here just to kind of give you the extra brightness or you can kind of dim it down some with that amber light and turn off your LED light strip. You have the heavy duty more ride entrance step here flips up inside the doorway. When you're traveling, comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet. That step is rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover style step is only rated for 300 pounds. It also kind of helps reduce the shake uh, of an RV when you're going in and out. It just makes it feel a little more stable because it comes down and touches the ground versus those hover steps. The baggage door is held up here by a magnetic catch. Then you have a decent size storage compartment here goes all the way across. Looking down below here, you have four scissor stabilizer jacks, one on each corner. And then there's also an enclosed underbelly down there as well. On this version of the Nobo, you get these metal fender flares. Have little running light built into there as well. You have your furnace exhaust out right there also. And then you do have the Westlake off-road style tire. Does still come with that tire pressure monitoring system, which is a very important system there, just to kind of help keep up with your tire pressure. And then you have this really nice Kurt Beast Mode suspension underneath it here. Now I'm gonna pop up a quick video of this to kind of show you what this is all about that the factory did. Let's check it out real quick. We are on site with you today. I'm Cody Shade, and we are giving you a field test of the Kurt Beast Mode suspension system featured on the 2023 No Boundaries product lineup. Now this is our fifth season with No Boundaries, offering our consumers a turnkey adventure unparalleled in the lightweight travel trailer segment. 
the Kurt Beast mode is gonna take no boundaries to that next performance level that you haven't seen yet. What makes it so special? Well, let's start with five inches of articulation on both the single and tandem axle setups. You've got an axle-less design that provides independent suspension going over smooth or rough terrain that both reduces rattles, reduces vibration, and increases the towability of the product. Now the maintenance schedule on the beast mode suspension system mirrors that of exactly what you have towing down the road today, which is a never adjust braking system along with easy lube hubs, so it's virtually maintenance free. This will not only increase the length of life of the towable unit itself, but it will give you the peace of mind that you need to go farther off the street, from street mode to beast mode like you never have before. Now what sets this product apart are the nitrogen filled gas struts along with racing inspired coil spring design. Performance for No Boundaries has been the pinnacle of the product design. And again, we are laser focused on bringing you the most towable, most versatile product on the market. For more information about the Kurt Beast Mode Suspension System, check out forestriverinc.com slash Nobo or contact your local No Boundaries dealer. All right, it's a pretty cool video there, just kind of showing how all of that stuff works. Back here, you have a cold water spray port and an electric outlet. Just down below right there is a gas line hookup, and then you have hot and cold low point water drains right there as well. The little black bar right here is where you could put your little portable table that comes with it and your outside griddle also would mount right there. You can kind of see what that looks like. And then you have a side port for solar. So besides doing a solar panel on the roof, you could also plug in an extra solar panel on the side to give you more juice. On the back here, we got a nice fiberglass rear end with a lower diamond plate, traditional four inch square tube bumper. You have that spare tire mount also on the back here as well. You are prepped right back here for a rear observation camera if you wanted to do that. It's prepped for the Furion rear observation camera. Nice safety feature to consider adding. You do have a little ladder there to get you up onto the roof so you can kind of do an inspection of things, check things out. And also again, there is a solar panel up on that roof. Black tank flush to clean out the toilet tank system right here next to your black and gray gate valve handles. So everything comes out of this one tube right here. Pull the black, get the nasty out, pull the gray to rinse everything out. And then you can also flush it out with the black tank flush. You have the little storage door here. And again, this will actually flip up. So you could maybe put just some small bikes in here or something for the kids. And again, you got that light and USB charger port there as well. Not a huge amount of changes for the Nobo this year, but still got that same great look. You have your cable inlet right down there and your detachable 50 amp, or I'm sorry, detachable 30 amp electric cord. That looks like it's probably about 30 or maybe 35 feet long roughly. Six gallon gas electric water heater, electric switch is right there. That's your heating element and that is your inch and a 16th drain plug. City water inlet, gravity fill fresh water tank right there. There is a removable panel right there, which will allow you to get to the back of the water heater for winterization bypass. 
Couple informational stickers right here, pretty important. Production date sticker, built 9-2023. Model number 16.6. Gross vehicle weight, 5,250 pounds. Dry weight, 3,824 pounds. Exterior length, 21 feet 8 inches. Tire size, ST23575 R15 D range tires with a 65 PSI cold rating. Front side here. You have that windshield on the front, lower black diamond plate skirting there, battery disconnect right down there. You have the sensor down there also for that tire pressure monitor. Room for one or two batteries, single 20 pound propane tank, power tongue jack with manual override, built in light, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains very nice little unit here all right we're gonna head back inside I want to show you what it looks like closed up we'll be right back on the inside all right we are back on the inside of the brand new 2024 no boundaries 16.6 here and I just wanted to show you what it looks like closed and kind of how it works uh, it is a 12 volt powered slide motor so as long as you've got a good battery, you should be able to run this thing in and out. Slide button right here. Very, very important to make sure nothing is in the way of the slide. So if you're going out, obviously make sure you're not about to hit a water pole or electric pole at the campsite. Uh, and if coming in, just obviously make sure nothing's in the way. You push the button here, this thing pretty much comes straight in and goes straight out. Now this is on what they call the Schwintech slide system by Lippert. They do have some really nice videos on maintenance and you know troubleshooting and all that type of stuff on their website, lci1.com. So I would definitely recommend you know kind of watching that if you do end up buying one, you know, just how to maintain your slides and all that type of stuff. But it comes right on in. It's pretty much, again, straight in, straight out. 12-volt powered motors. Even with the slide closed, I can still come in here and fully use the RV. Yeah, so I'm having no issues with getting to the bathroom or the bunk area or any of that type of stuff. So stopping at a rest area or a grocery store or something and needing to come in here and load the refrigerator, the slide out does not really interfere in anything like that. And again, it don't go out real far. It's probably, I'd say, close to 18 inches or so, but just enough to make it feel fairly roomy in here. Pretty quick and easy and simple. All right, folks, thanks a bunch for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again. All right, guys, I wanted to take a second here and just kind of show you the basically unboxing and what uh, this tire pressure monitoring system actually does. Um, so this thing here has a lot of great features to it. We're going to open it up here real quick, show you what it's all about. Okay, so I got the box cut open already here, just so we don't accidentally stab ourselves on video or something stupid. So when you get it out, you have a little instructional code here. You got a little scanner here, but basically it's kind of telling you, you got a monitor little 12 volt uh, lighter adapter thing here with USB charger cord and your suction cup mount holder. Um, a little sticker here that comes with it, little warranty registration card and stuff like that. Here you can kind of see a little mount. It's plastic. It's got a little magnetic holder, but suction cup with your window.
Got your little cord. And then you have your five inch screen here. And it's got a little sticker on it. I take off the little sticker. On the side of it, you do have your on off button and your little charge button here. Um, so you kind of see what it looks like there. And it magnetically attaches here. But let's turn it on here real quick. So you kind of see what this all looks like. Now I have already programmed the four tires and stuff. Kind of went through this, cheated a little bit here so I knew a little more about it before we started the video. Uh, but you can come in here and you have different setting controls here for it. Um, so we can come in here, change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, change it from uh, PSI to bar. Uh, you got miles, kilometers, hours, you know, 12 hours, 24 hours, feet, meters. You know, again, kind of do what you prefer depending on where you're uh, located at. Coming back in here, we got our tire pressure alert. And this will do up to five trailers up to six tires per trailer and this particular camper that we're in if you remember that sticker that tire sticker i showed you earlier it told us 50 psi cold now when it comes in from the factory and you unbox this you got to actually come in here and set that because it's at basically zero so just come in here type in your pressure of whatever the sticker tells you on the camper you happen to own hit this here exit and save then we can swap tire locations again depending on our trailer we can kind of come back in and swap locations do different stuff like that um, automatic code detect again go to our trailer one and then we're going to step outside here show you what that looks like okay so we're back out here and we are looking at the tires and you can kind of see the screen here. We're going to hit our little settings button, auto detect code, trailer one, and then we're going to pick a tire. I've already got the code in here for this particular one, but to redo it, we're basically going to hit the learn button. And then you're supposed to wave it in front of the tire. You hear the beep. It'll pull up the code, save and exit, and then you go do your other tires as well. And you can kind of see here different codes for each tire, and it will do up to six tires. So for people with toy haulers and stuff like that, you know, triaxle units, pretty cool little setup. Now, when you're done doing all your tires, you can again do a manual mode detect if you know your codes for each tire. Um, you can connect and disconnect trailers and stuff like that. So you got quite a few different things you can come into this screen and do. Vehicle ID, uh, date and time, sensors for your, bat or your battery sensors basically, kind of telling you what's going on with them. Um, so a lot of neat stuff built in to this tire pressure monitor here pretty cool little setup again guys thank you for taking the time to watch my rv videos i hope this really helped you learn a little bit more about the camper things that come with the campers and possibly how to use them thanks again